Hey guys, today we're going to use a bit neglected tool in Affinity Photo version 2. I'm talking about Eraser Brush Tool. You cannot see it very often during tutorials. Most pros will skip on this tool. But I believe it's worth time to get familiar with all tools available. So let's uh, take a look. Eraser Brush is on our tool panel on the left side, all the way down here look like a little erasing rubber and if you hover your mouse and open up this group you will see that three versions of this tool let's start with the first basic version and if you select this you will see a size of this brush at the top you can modify this with the slider opacity flow and hardness so that's a very typical for the brush hardness 100 very sharp edge Hardness 0, very soft blurry edge. Let's keep it somewhere in between, maybe 50%. All right. And as you can guess, the base way, the base use will be to simply delete pixels. You see this checkerboard? I delete pixels and this part is transparent now. We are not replacing, we are completely removing part of the image. And as you can guess, it's not a very good way because it's totally destructive way. So if you do it this way, save your file, then you cannot kind of get back this part. We just get rid of this part of the image forever. That's why many people tend to use masks. All right. This is a separate thing, masking and erasing, but we can get a very similar result. Keep in mind, erasing will remove this part forever. Masking can be modified anytime, it's non-destructive. I got totally separate video about masking, so let's focus on erasing this time. As you can see, I erased this huge hole in this image. Let me just undo, all right. Let me just erase something a bit smaller. So I'm going to erase this balloon. Let's zoom in a bit. Command plus. I need a smaller brush. I can use a square brackets to make a brush larger or smaller. That's very handy shortcut. And I'm erasing this balloon. And normally, if you erase the object like that, you don't want to have this hole here. So what can we do about the hole now? We can use the freehand selection, also called lasso tool, make a very rough selection of this empty area. All right. And we can try to fill it with something else. So I can click edit, fill, and you can select in painting fill, apply. And now the program will try to check what was around, in this case, the sky and fill this empty area. So that's how we can kind of replace those pixels with something neutral that was around. All right, but most of the times you will not use eraser brush tool to erase objects. Mostly you will use this to erase backdrop. So there's a special version of this tool called background eraser brush. If I grab this one, take a look what will happen. It's protecting the balloon. How cool it is. I can erase backdrop, but when I start erasing, I putting this over the balloon, the balloon is not erased. So this is without any selection. That's really, really handy. Just keep in mind, keep like 60% of this brush outside the target. If I put it too much on the balloon, I start to erase the balloon itself. We don't want that. All right, let's try again here with the bigger object. This is background eraser tool. So it's try to be smart and erase only backdrop. Take a look. Even though I'm hovering the brush over the balloon, I just erasing the backdrop. This can be a really effective way to erase the backdrop or fix the fake PNG very quickly without making selection. All right, I understand. That selection will give us more control. And I understand that masking will make it non-destructive, but 
In this video we are focusing on eraser brush tool and that's a great way to separate the object from the backdrop, especially if you got very nice backdrop like proper green screen or like in this case we got nice sky. Take a look, I remove a decent part of this backdrop and then I can switch back to normal eraser and just keep erasing this backdrop without making any selection. So this is very beginner friendly way. All right, that's how we can make some transparent backdrop PNGs for our asset library later on. All right, and there is one more, one more mode called flood erase tool. And this mode will try to erase similar colors. So this is like reverse bucket tool. If I click here, this whole area is gone. So it's erasing based on the color. Take a look, the balloon is still here. And we erase the whole sky without a single selection. Take a look. Just by using eraser tools. Of course, there are some artifacts like that that you will need to take care of yourself. But in general, it's not that bad. Many people avoid this tool because they prefer masking. But in some cases, you don't need a mask. You just need to erase a part of the image and that's how you can do it. All right, so this was a short introduction to background eraser tool and also the standard erase brush tool that is like kind of together as a set. There's also third mode, the flat eraser. I like to call it reverse bucket tool. All three over here. So don't forget to test them out yourself. This way you will remember how to use this tool. I hope this content is helpful. Don't forget to check the whole Affinity Photo playlist and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!